Hello, hello, it's Lauren with the Perco team. I'm at address 2705 Dolphin Avenue. I'm in beautiful Fernandina Beach. I'm just starting on the exterior because this is a condo, but I just wanted to show you how close you are to the beach. Um, it's a block away. You also have dining and a basketball court, a skate park, right across the street. So I'm just walking over there real quick so you can see how close and convenient it is um, to our parks, to dining. Um, there's the skate park um, right in front of that yellow building that you see. So really convenient to the beach. There's all your piers right there. Great location. It's next to some other condos. This is a first floor unit, so it's super convenient just to walk out and take a stroll on the beach. I'm going to walk through these gates. That door right there is the unit that is for sale. It's 1B. Um, here is the trash chute right outside your door, so you don't even have to carry your trash anywhere, which is nice. Elevators right there and stairs are right there. There is a garage underneath, um, so that leads you to your garage. But when you first walk into the condo, you have a beautiful foyer area that has tile with some detailing. And then you have a tray ceiling with some updated fixtures. I'm gonna show this door behind me. Nice thick crown molding throughout the entire unit. When you first walk in, you have a coat closet here. You could put your vacuum and stuff in there as well if you wanted to. This is a luxury vinyl plank flooring that's throughout the whole house besides the tile. So you have no carpet, which is awesome and convenient as far as keeping it clean if you have kids, pets. You have a huge dining room. Again, beveled edges on all the corners of the wall. So if you do have children, you don't have to worry about them getting heard on the end corners of the walls. And it just provides an elegant look. This is your formal dining room. There is a wall here to separate the living room and dining room. I'm pretty sure if you had an engineer come out here just to make sure, but that wall could be removed if you wanted it to because it's not supporting anything. In your formal living room or your great room, you have built-in shelving. You have a fireplace. Power and um, cable access above the fireplace to hide all your cords. This does open up to a balcony area. You have a very large balcony area. Again, this is a first floor unit, so you are ground level. You have sprinklers out here for your bushes. That is access um, from the master. And then you also have a little walkway here if you wanted to just walk out of your back porch and head to the beach. This is the only door that opens and leads into the home besides the door to go to the master. In the kitchen, you have granite countertops, stainless steel stove, the refrigerator is staying. It matches the cabin cabinets. You have a corner pantry here. Good size pantry. And then this would be a great spot for all your crock pots. It's super deep, so you put all your pots and pans and stuff in there, make it easy and convenient. 
in the island, you have your dishwasher and your sink. So while you're doing the dishes, you have a wonderful view. I'm going to show you the foyer area from the living room view. Continuing down the hall, this is now the right side of the unit. You have a water heater and your air handler in here, so easy to change your filters. Your laundry room is behind a door in the hallway. You have a half bath here. It's listed as a three bedroom, three bath, but it's really a um, three bedroom, two and a half bath. To the left is the master. When you walk into the master, the bathroom is right when you walk into the right. Sorry, you can see me in the mirror. You do have tile in here. You have an all tile shower. I couldn't find the light switch, sorry. But there is a recess lighting in here. You have a jetted tub. And it does overlook the master. There's plantation shutters to where you could shut this, but it does overlook the master. This unit was built in 2006. It's 2,128 square feet. This is a solid surface countertop, so you don't have to worry about resealing your sinks. Master closet. It's behind a sliding door. It's not huge, but you could always add more shelving. There's room below for more shelving. And the commode is behind a door for privacy. Continuing into the master, you have a tray ceiling. You also have sprinklers throughout the unit. You can see them there for safety. <clears throat> this window, you have a beautiful view. I'm trying to get it to focus. And again, that door does lead out to the balcony. There's the shutters to shut off the bathroom if you did not want that to show and it does lock. So you can shut it off if you did not want that there. All right, continuing down the hallway. There is a door here to shut this off if you wanted to. So it's like its own like private suite. So you have a hallway here. This is bedroom number two. Again, you still have the nice thick crown molding. The paint is in excellent condition. I haven't seen any scuffs or anything on the paint. They must have repainted before they moved out because there's no nail holes or anything. Again, the closet is behind a sliding door. Pretty standard closet, but still good storage. This is bathroom number two. Oh, so excuse me, it is a three and a half bath. Again, solid surface countertops. 
You still have that thick crumb molding in here. Bedroom number three. These are probably 11 by 11 rooms. I can get the exact room dimensions if you are interested. This one has a smaller closet though, still behind a sliding door, but it does have a smaller closet. Again, sprinklers throughout. Bathroom number three, solid surface, single vanity. A shower tub combo. And then going down the hallway to the right, you have a huge closet here. Lots of storage. And then all the way at the back of the hallway, you have a second air handler, which is a lot smaller than the first one, and another water heater. This one says that it was installed in 2017. I didn't see the date on the other one. So this one is a three bedroom, three and a half bath. So I'm correcting myself. It is all electric. There is a condo fee of $650 a month. Again, this is Lauren with the Perco team. If you would like to know more about this property or any other property in Georgia, South Carolina, or Florida, please give us a call at 706 533-5694. Have a great day.